Good afternoon, graduates and honored guests. Would you please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Colorado State University Air Force Pershing Rifles Wing Walker Honor Guard with Ms. Angela Lamar singing God Bless America and our national anthem.
Thank you, Ms. Lamar. You may be seated. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I think we can do a little better than that on commencement day, can't we? Good afternoon. <laughs> That's more like it. I'm James Pritchett. I serve as the Executive Associate Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences. And it is my pleasure, my honor, to welcome you to our fall 2018 commencement ceremonies. Graduates, this is your day. You've worked hard for this. This is a time of celebration for you. I hope that you have the chance to remember every moment today and that you can take care of the things, the gratitude, and, and think about the accomplishments and where you want to go throughout today's ceremony. You know, we're very proud of, of the folks that we have here at our land-grant university at Colorado State University. And when you think about a commencement, often we think about the end or a transition that's taking place. But in truth, a commencement is a beginning, a beginning of what we can do for ourselves in the future and how we might be able to serve others. And we bring everyone together today to talk about that culture, to feel those principles that are important to us. And we often do that with bringing together different parts of our campus community so that we all can celebrate the accomplishments of those graduates together. And so it's my privilege to be able to introduce to you the platform group today. They all represent vital components of this university experience that we have. I'm gonna ask that the platform group as I introduce you to please have you stand and rise and, and remain standing. And then we'll hold all applause until I've had the chance to introduce everyone who's here with us on the platform. Let's begin with Dr. Jim Ippolito, Associate Professor and College Marshal. Dr. Jan Leach, Associate Dean of Research and a University Distinguished Professor. Dr. Gene Kelly, Associate Dean of Extension and Deputy Director of the Agricultural Experiment Station. Dr. Jessica Davis, Department Head of the Department of Horticulture and Landscape Architecture. Dr. Kevin Pond, Head Department of Animal Sciences. Dr. Haley Chenard, Head Department of Agricultural and Resource Economics. Dr. Matt Wallenstein, Head, Department of Soil and Crop Sciences. Dr. Amy Charkowski, Head, Department of Bioagricultural Sciences and Pest Management. Ms. Addie Elliott, Assistant Dean of Advising and Student Success. Dr. Alan Rudolph, Vice President for Research. Dr. Don Michaels, Director, University Honors Program. Representative Jenny Arndt, our commencement speaker today and state representative. Dr. Ajay Menon, Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences. Dr. Rick Miranda, Provost and Executive Vice President. Dr. Mary Stromberger, Incoming Dean of the Graduate School. And Matt Camper, Assistant Dean of Teaching Practice and Academic Programs. In addition, I'd like to introduce our interpreters for the hearing impaired, Kenna Bridges, who's with us today on the platform, and John Solis, who will be joining us a little bit later. Please join me in welcoming our platform group. Well, gosh, today, didn't we have a great reception out in the, out in the lobby in the atrium thinking about, about graduation? I, I had the chance to walk through and introduce myself and get to know families and actually renew some, some acquaintances uh, when our freshmen first moved in and we had orientation, starting to think about the, that great time we had not, not too long ago. For some of you, it was four, well, maybe five years ago uh, that we all sat together and got to know each other. And there was some key recognition that I saw. I saw on the faces of our parents and our relatives all the way from the front row to that, to that corner back over there. And that was really the pride of accomplishment. Parents and relatives, aren't you proud of these graduates today and the path and journey that they've been on? <laughs> and graduates, I saw you looking at each other's faces too. You were looking in, in, at grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, brothers and sisters looking at each other. And maybe you were seeing things. Isn't it about faces at a commencement ceremony? You're looking in people's eyes and their faces. And you're seeing maybe pride, right, of, of that accomplishment that you have. Uh, maybe there's a sense of anticipation for what that next step is going to be. Uh, maybe there's that sense of accomplishment. I think there was also, as I, as I looked at your faces, as I look at your faces now, there's kind of this sense of gratitude, too, isn't there? For the people that helped you along the way, that, that helped support you, that support network that you had. And maybe, maybe that had to do with some of the folks that were your teachers and your supporters within the College of Ag Agricultural Sciences. I want to take just a second to recognize some of those folks that are real important as part of that, and, and that would be our faculty and staff here to, to my left. Can I please have all of the faculty in the College of Agricultural Sciences and our staff, our academic support coordinators, our recruiters, could you please rise for a moment and be recognized?
Remain standing for a moment. Let's see your faces up there because I want to recognize the fact that these are the folks that challenge us. They're the ones who push us just a little bit further, that demand excellence, that demand rigor. And at the same time, when we struggle a little bit, they lift us up. They're the folks that have helped us to identify what our career pathways are. They've helped to mentor us. They've helped to make a difference in small ways and in large ways, whether that be in the lecture hall, whether that be between classes, whether that be on internship experiences or studies abroad. These are the folks who invested greatly in us. What makes a university great is its faculty and its staff. They're the heartbeat of what takes place. And so we very much appreciate what you put together for us, all of our faculty and staff. Thank you. I want to take just a moment, too, to recognize a leader among our College of Agricultural Sciences, especially today. Dr. Pond, could you please rise up for just a second? <laughs> As many of you know, among our students, Dr. Kevin Pond is the, is the head of our Department of Animal Sciences. And recently, he announced that he had a, a terrific new opportunity, going to become a dean at uh, West Texas A&M in Canyon, Texas. But Dr. Pond has made such a transformational difference for us in the College of Ag Sciences and for the Department of Animal Sciences. And Kevin, to be honest, one of the things that I appreciate the most about you has been your dedication and devotion to students. I know you had the chance to meet with your students at a reception prior to, to this ceremony, and that you knew each and every one of them by name, and that you know your parents, and that you reach out to them, whether that be at the National Western Stock Show or an NCBA meeting, whether that's just catching them on the Montfort Quad as they're between classes. Thank you very much for being transformational for us. Join me in thanking Dr. Pond. We look for leaders and we look for role models to help us in, in matching grand challenges and to setting a community, creating a community for us, uh, both at our university and across the state of Colorado. That's why it gives me great pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Representative Jenny Art. Representative Art, gosh, I was, I was just, Jenny, I was, I was looking through your bio a little bit. You serve House District 53, uh, have been a leader in the state legislature, actually been the chairperson, chairwoman of the, of the House uh, Agricultural, Livestock, and Natural Resource Committee. Now, now the Committee on, on Rural Affairs is what I understand they've done there. Served us very well. And, I, and you and I have had the chance to talk about when you travel to all parts of the state, you get to know farmers and ranchers and folks that are agriculturalists, and how you promote and advocate for agriculture and for the wide stewardship of our natural resources. It comes very easily to you. Uh, I know that uh, you have often served, whether that has been as a, as a teacher yourself, a uh, school board member, um, you served as an international baccalaureate coordinator, uh, you were uh, a member of the Peace Corps at, at one time too. And somewhere along the way, somewhere, you found the time to get a doctorate, so your doctor, Jenny Arndt, two master's degrees, an undergraduate degree, and you're about halfway through a, a, an MBA as well. So really at CSU we thank people who are dedicated to paying tuition for those advanced degrees <laughs> that we have. No, I, I really, uh, I very much appreciate uh, the leadership and advocacy that, that you provide and how you serve as a, as a role model for our office. Would you please come forward and, and share a few words with us today? Representative Jenny Arndt. Hi, um, sorry. I'm, um, I speak a lot in public, but I have to tell you, I haven't been this nervous in years. And the reason why I'm nervous to speak in front of you is because I'm in awe of you because I'm looking at you and I know I'm gonna cry. Um, I almost cried when I walked through the reception. Just the future and the promise that you hold and you bring today and your families. So um, it, per, forgive me, I'm usually pretty outgoing and not nervous when I speak in front of people, but I'm, I'm just gonna come clean and tell you that. I also wanna thank Dr. Pritchett for that nice introduction. Uh, Dr. Pritchett and I go back a very long way and it's a pleasure to be here um, with him introducing me. So I'll start with my little charge to you. Um, and if I pause, just forgive me. Uh, good afternoon, parents, family, friends, esteemed uh, faculty of Colorado State University, and most importantly, good afternoon to you, the future of our country. And I mean that sincerely. Today we honor you and your tireless investment in yourself, your education, your communities, and your passion to make the world a better place. I remember when I sat um, with my colleagues on my uh, graduation day, and I was pretty excited but I also was kind of relieved. Um, no more tests, no more um, grind, right? But I was also pretty nervous, right? 
I was ready to go out into the world armed with a degree, but uh, honestly, I was 21. I turned 22 the day afterwards, and not much else except for that sense of confidence and that sense of can-do attitude that I know that CSU has armed you with. Graduation was so much more than a diploma because it's not a piece of paper that you carry with you into the world. It's what you take with you in knowledge, life experiences, your culture, your family, your community, your friends and your colleagues, all which shape you and which you help create at the same time. Beginning today, when you leave our campus, this is a much larger community that you'll have a responsibility to shape to create the future that you want for tomorrow. So what is agriculture without the word culture? Well, it's a stored culture at that, reaching all the way to 10, back to 10,000 BC at, with the first agricultural revolution. And what is culture without ag? From Neolithic communities telling our first origin stories around community fires while feasting on their harvest, to today's family farmers of Colorado living in the moment and dreaming for the future. Ag is culture. It anchors us, it nurtures us, it binds us together. It inspires and challenges us to co-create a prosperous, bountiful life for all. CSU students graduating today, we look to you as the future of ag and the future of our culture. Agriculture is the heart of our great state. You know that. Our people, our land, our business, our community, and our culture. And ag is the heart of this institution. It's all encompassing. When Abraham Lincoln deeply understood the importance when he bestowed a great mission on the land-grant universities, advance and spread the knowledge of essential practical sciences, and most importantly, agriculture. Colorado State is a pivotal university, not just for Fort Collins, for our state, for our nation, but internationally. It's the cornerstone of, ag is the cornerstone of Colorado State University and the cornerstone of humanity's shared culture, and honestly, it's the cornerstone of our survival. There are many who came before you, creative, hardworking, practical folks who set out to feed the world, to fuel humanity's greatest achievements. And today, you become a critical chapter in that proud tradition. For your chapter is the future. We count on you, our future, to help us shape a culture that unfolds every day with hope, optimism, creativity, joy, family, community, and prosperity. That seems like a big responsibility, doesn't it? Collectively, you're equipped with unprecedented set of skills, whether these skills are applied to design green spaces for 22nd century cities, to leverage um, cutting edge technology for more efficient food supply chain, or for furthering our understanding of the agrobiome. Together, you're gonna wield those skills for the benefits of all. And before you leave today, take a moment to reflect. I think Dr. Pritchett mentioned that. Think about what you've accomplished whether you're the fifth person in your family or the first person to graduate from university, it's an incredible feat. Tonight, gather with your friends and your family, your colleagues, your fellow friends, your faculty members who mean a lot to you, and genuinely take time to savor the moment and celebrate your accomplishments. Trust me, the world's gonna wait a few more hours before you get going. But as the tonight's celebration eventually gives way to tomorrow's dawn, just remember, a higher ed degree is more than a personal accomplishment. It's also a cultural responsibility now bestowed on each and every one of you. You're the best and brightest of your generation, and that's true. And tomorrow when you wake up, you'll join forces with those who came before you in the spirit of collaboration and care to shepherd a culture that began more than 12,000 years ago and to help steer us toward a just, equitable, and prosperous future. When you walk out those doors, you join a proud and noble tradition so let me be one of many today to congratulate you on that lofty position that you hold and the promise for our future. I sincerely wish you the best in your future endeavors, and mostly I want to extend my deepest and most heartfelt gratitude to you, gratitude to you for the commitment you've shown, the profession you've chosen, and the community that you will build. With you, the spirit of agriculture is alive and well, and now go forth and inspire us and lead the world. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Arndt. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today to share your perspectives. Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Addie Elliott, and I'm the Assistant Dean of Advising and Student Success for the College of Agricultural Sciences. And I would like to offer my warmest and most sincere congratulations to each and every one of you. 
I met many of you during RAM orientation four years ago, and it's amazing how much you've grown and achieved and connected with one another and become part of the College of Agriculture. Your curiosity, your passion, your creativity and inspiration has left its mark on all of us and the College of Agriculture. Colorado State University recognizes outstanding scholarship by granting the baccalaureate degree cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude to those students in each college who have achieved high academic excellence in their undergraduate program. These students collectively may be recognized by their gold gowns today. The College of Agricultural Sciences designates the distinction of summa cum laude to those graduates that maintain a cumulative 3.98 GPA during their undergraduate program of study. These students are wearing gold cords in addition to their gold robes. The college designates magna cum laude to those graduates maintaining a cumulative GPA of 3.85 and cum, and cum laude to those graduates that maintain a 3.78 cumulative GPA during their academic program of study. Now I would like to honor our candidates for magna cum laude to, and ask them to please stand up to be recognized. Jackson Burkholder with a major in horticultural science. <laughs> Dylan Casey with a major in soil and crop sciences. Nicole Fisher with a major in agricultural education. <laughs> Sin Yi Zhang with a major in landscape architecture. <laughs> Holden Ramey with majors in animal sciences and agricultural business. You have all worked so hard, I'd like to ask you to stand up together so we can really applaud you. Please be seated, thank you. Now I would like to recognize our summa cum laude candidates and ask them to please stand. David McKinney with majors in horticulture and environmental horticulture. Thank you, David. You may be seated. <laughs> CSU was founded 148 years ago as part of the land grant system to educate the citizens of Colorado and the world. The undergraduates in this room today come from 12 states and five different countries. They represent some of the most talented and committed people in our state. I would like to take a moment to recognize a special group amongst our graduates our first generation college students. To be amongst the first of your generation in your family to attend college is an achievement unto itself. And now, are you, now you are seeing the culmination of your hard work, sacrifice, and commitment. If you wish, please stand so we can recognize you and congratulate you. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. I would now like to invite Dr. Don Michaels, director of the Colorado State University Honors Program to the podium. I am pleased to recognize those students who have earned the distinction of University Honors Scholar. To become a University Honors Scholar, a student completes an integrated program of studies that includes four honors seminars, two honors courses in the major, and an honors thesis, while achieving at least the 3.5 cumulative GPA. These students are recognized by the green gowns and black stoles they are wearing. When I announce your names, will the students who are graduating as candidates for University Honors Scholars please rise and remain standing. Janie Halverson with a major in agricultural education, and Rachel Wertheimer, 
with a major in equine science. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences, Ajay Menon. Good afternoon. <laughs> you know, um, to the graduates, um, if you have the view that I have from you, you will recognize how lucky you are, how fortunate you are. You have about what, one, two, three, four rows of graduating class here. And take a look on either side of you. There's a battalion of people supporting you. It's incredible that we get our families to come in such large numbers to cheer these young men and women along. So let me just take a brief moment to say thank you to the parents and the families and the friends of this graduating class. I thank you not just for showing up here today. I thank you for sharing these young men and women with us. You have done a marvelous job raising them, and then you trusted us to keep them with the values that you sent them with. We hope we are returning them back to you. Some of you might be saying, no, keep them. But, uh, <laughs> but we're returning back to them, hopefully, with those values, but yet with some great education. I have no doubt that each and every one of you had access to a world-class education. You are graduating from one of the world's best agricultural colleges, one of the world's best, or the nation's best, land-grant university. I know that you're getting a great in, in, uh, uh, education because I know the faculty who inspired you, who educated you, who shared their skills with you, and who have prepared you for where you're gonna go. So I have no worries about who you are and where you're going. The question I have for you is, how are you going to handle that which awaits you? Our commencement speaker spoke to you about culture and what the culture out there is. We have an interesting time for agriculture and how society treats agriculture. There's a lot of debate. The debates go on. You are an agriculturalist, so tell me about GMOs versus non-GMOs, conventional versus organic, climate change, humanly caused, non-humanly caused, what's going on? And you're supposed to have the answer. And agriculture is great for this because culture is based around food. And when you start breaking bread with people, you begin to understand people. We all can agree on one thing. Conversations in this country at this point in our history has not been necessarily always civil. Around food, we can have civil conversations. And we are the custodians of food. Isn't that wonderful? So I have no doubt that each and every one of us who are graduating will have the ability to have conversations around food. And when you do have that conversations around GMOs and non-GMOs, base it on science and talk in a civil manner. If we do that, our country is better off, our world is better off, humanity is better. And so with that, And so with that, I think I'm right here. <laughs> I want you all who are graduating to rise. <laughs> Provost Miranda, would you please join me? Provost, I present to you the candidates from the College of Agricultural Sciences for the baccalaureate degree. These candidates and their fellows in absentia have fulfilled the requirements for the degree, Bachelor of Science, 
at Colorado State University. Thank you, Dean Menon. You've uh, all worked very hard to hear these words, and uh, it's my great pleasure to be with you today while you uh, get your degrees. And this is the moment, so pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer upon each of you the Bachelor of Science degree, together with all of the rights privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> What an outstanding group of students we have here today. Congratulations to the fall class of 2018. We will now award diplomas to the graduating class. You may all be seated. The department marshals will lead the graduates to the stage and the department heads will present the diplomas. Assistant Dean Matt Camper will announce the graduates and a listing of our candidates may be found in your commencement program. Graduates, parents, and friends. Commencement ceremonies are honored and distinguished occasions and also a time for great celebration. Please feel free to express your pride and happiness as your candidate receives his or her degree. And will the, marsh will the department marshals please direct the graduates to the podium. Today we will be starting with the Department of Horticulture and Landscape Architecture. Are you ready? David McKinney. <laughs> with a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Horticulture and nurse, Nursery and Landscape Management. Jackson Burkholder, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture and Floriculture. Sing Yi Jiang, Bachelor of Science, Landscape Architecture. Adam Thomas Overton II, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture, Viticulture, and Enology. Sierra Tess Meeks, Bachelor of Science in Horticulture, Viticulture, Enology. Sarah Jane Davies, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture, Floriculture. <laughs> Sheila K. Prentice, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Horticulture, Nursery and Landscape Management. <laughs> Justice Bradley, Bachelor of Science in Horticulture. Cheyenne Quintana, Bachelor of Science in Horticulture, Horticulture Business Management. Charlotte Lee, Environmental Horticulture and Landscape Design and Contractions. Ariana Lee Feist, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture and Floriculture. Jude McCarran, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture and Horticultural Science. Jonathan R. Aten, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture, Horticultural Business Management. And I should also note, he's the first online horticulture program graduate. Thank you. Thomas C. Connors, Bachelor of Science in Horticulture and Floriculture. Jackson Stewart Martinelli, Bachelor of Science, Horticulture and Floriculture. <laughs> Ms.
Nathan P. Selby, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Horticulture and Turf Management. Next are the graduates for the Department of Soil and Crop Sciences. Dylan Michael Casey, Bachelor of Science, Soil and Crop Sciences. <laughs> Ian Brazil Axland, Bachelor of Science, Soil and Crop Sciences and Applied Information Technology. <laughs> Elena Rose Bernholtz, Bachelor of Science, Soil and Crop Sciences, Plant Biotechnology, Genetics and Breeding. Jessica Caitlin Elder, Bachelor of Sciences, Soil and Crop Sciences. Carolita E. Landers, Bachelor of Science, Animal Sciences, and Soil and Crop Sciences. Haley Elise Miners, Bachelor of Science, Soil and Crop Sciences, Plant Biotechnology, Genetics, and Breeding. Deanna Isabel Milliter Kyle, Bachelor of Science, Soil and Crop Sciences, Agronomic Production Management. <laughs> Tianyi Zhou, Bachelor of Science, Soil and Crop Sciences, and Agricultural Business. Next is the Department of Agricultural and Resource Economics. Nicole Barbara Fisher, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Education, Teacher Development. <laughs> Janie Michelle Halverson, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Education, and Teacher Development. <laughs> Jamie Lynn McLaughlin, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Education and Teacher Development. <laughs> Lena Chartier Hahn, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Education and Teacher Development. <laughs> Samantha Page Brewington, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Education and Teacher Development. <laughs> Emma Rose Jones Turner, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Education and Teacher Development. Jaden Steeb, Agriculture Education. Vilma Ivette Carbajal Ontiveros, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Business, Entrepreneurship Certificate. Cole Riley Grenard, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Business. <laughs> Thomas James Osco, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business, and also Soil and Crop Sciences. <laughs> Reese Lane Melton, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Education and Teacher Development. Michaela Daly, Agricultural Business. Andrea Lewis, Agricultural Business. Ricky Ann Huston, Houston, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business. Austin Wayne Trinidad. Agriculture Business. Yeah. 
Ryan Michael Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business. Forrest Michael Erickson, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business. Nathaniel James Simpson, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business. Thaddeus Philip Miller, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business. Brett Dennison Miller, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business. Next up is the Department of Animal Sciences. Holden Miller Ramey, Bachelor of Science, Animal Sciences, and Agricultural Business as a second major. <laughs> Rachel Eve Wertheimer, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Sydney M. Dingman, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. <laughs> Justin C. Riley, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. <laughs> Isaac Lee Wilkinson, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Andrew Chandler Everett, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Christina Rose Brandon, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Tori Marie Allred, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Sarah Nicole Walter, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. <laughs> Allison Rose Denny, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. <laughs> Catherine Caroline Sanger, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. <laughs> Ryan James Dreyer, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Gerardo Enrique De Leo, Animal Science. Kinsey Ann Larkin, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Medessa Huferdai. Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Sheridan Nicole Thorpin, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Emily Marie Scholes, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Andrina Renee Trum, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Taylor Mackenzie Armstrong, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. <laughs> Erica Victoria Brodock, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. <laughs> Michael Angelo Pugrad Costanza, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Thank you. Sierra McCormick, Animal Sciences. <laughs> Michael Wayne Simler, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, and a second in Agricultural Business. <laughs> Kate 
Jordan Lynn Rogan, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Equine Science. Harrison Daniel Hallmark, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Kaylee Rose Ryan, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Angie Aaron Macy Inman, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Morgan Landra Cobb, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Taylor Riley Vandergriff, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science, and Animal Science. Anna Catherine Curry, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Ashley Nicole Larson, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. Michaela Steger, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Madeline Elaine Jones, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Gabriella Grieve, Bachelor of Science, Equine Science. Brianna Marie Lewis, Bachelor of Science, Animal Science. <laughs> Kai Hospodar and guest, Equine Science. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, everyone. Come on, we learned already, right? Uh, there we go. My name is Matt Camper, and it's my privilege to serve the College of Agricultural Sciences as the Assistant Dean of Teaching Practice and Academic Programs. It's a real honor for me today to in introduce our student speaker, David McKinney, for his reflection. David, David is from Wheat Ridge, Colorado, and is graduating with degrees in horticulture and environmental horticulture. He served as the president of the Horticulture, Horticulture Club and Pi Alpha Xi Honor Society and has been actively involved in Ag Ambassadors, the Ag Adventure Planning Committee, and Farmhouse Fraternity. <laughs> David also worked as a coordinator for the CSU Flower Trial Gardens for two years. Recently, he received the College of Agricultural Sciences Charles N. Shepperton Agricultural Leadership Award. After graduation, David will pursue a master's degree in controlled environment horticulture here at CSU. He's excited to contribute valuable research and teaching assistance to better the word of horticulture. Please welcome me in welcoming David McKinney up to the podium. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting it to be this fast. Hi everyone. Uh, as Mr. Camper said, uh, my name is David McKinney and I'm so proud to be graduating with such an amazing college and with such an amazing class. Before I begin my, my remarks, I'd like to paraphrase a not well-known speechwriter. He says, there is no pleasure greater for an audience than when a speech is over with. <laughs> In that spirit, I will be concise. To echo what has already been said during this occasion, thank you to parents, friends, loved ones, and anyone else who helped a graduate get here today. I personally want to thank my parents, Kim and Jeff, for being my support and first advocates, and my grandparents, Neil and Elsie, for helping flip the check on my degree and for always pushing me to do my best. 
A special shout out to my number one project partner and best friend, Sheila, for not letting me do all the work and for being my loving support. And to Farmhouse Brothers for building me to always seek excellence in character and spirit. I want to especially thank the faculty and staff again who truly wanted to see us walk across the stage. Graduates, please raise your hand if you've been personally impacted, impacted by a faculty or staff member in the College of Ag. For those who just raised your hand, you better take the time to thank them in person before you walk out of here with your degree. <laughs> After only being a teaching assistant for a year, I can say with certainty that these people have to be extreme, extremely passionate or a little bit crazy about students to deal with us needy undergrads for as long as they do. But above all else, I want to thank you, the class of fall 2018. Because of your hard work and dedication, I have an audience to speak to today. <laughs> In all seriousness, you have been the foundation for what makes this college so fantastic. Looking back to my first few weeks at Colorado State University, I almost have to laugh. I was a city kid that believed that more than 40 acres of a single crop or animal feedlots should be a way of the past. And that growing crops and raising animals in the same plot was economically feasible on a large scale. I had never tried to pull a six foot weed out of a field, and you can bet my idea of moving cattle had come from a Denver petting zoo. <laughs> However, the five departments in this college, the classes I've taken, and people I met truly shaped me into who I am today and provided me with the community I needed through my college experience. To reflect on my own experience, what is more fitting than a plant-based metaphor? My experience in the College of Ag was like a tree. Like roots to a plant, the faculty, staff, and students built a network that runs deep and wide, able to provide strong support. One such example to me has been my own department, which has been instrumental in my success. I met people like Dr. Jim Klett, Dr. Steve Newman, Dr. Jessica Davis, and Tracy Smith, my freshman year here and I was learning to grow myself professionally and academically. I was looking for mentors, and their office doors just happened to be open when I was looking for advice. Since then, they have guided me through two years of coordinating research trials, have helped grow several clubs that I love, and introduced me to many professionals in the field of horticulture who are now my friends and colleagues. Whenever I've struggled, they were there to help me learn from my mistakes and try again. They continue to nurture me and challenge me, supporting me to go for my dreams, whatever that might be. There's a huge group of many faculty in this college that have encouraged all of us on our journey, who have been bricks built into a foundation growing ever stronger. If the roots are the support, then the leaves are the community. Support is what kept me going strong through my years here, but the community that was built was here that fed me and kept me going. No matter where I go in the college, I'm greeted by smiles and handshakes and often hugs. I have found friends across our departments due to the involvements of you students. Not only do they participate in organizations specific to your interest, but also in ones that span our small college. One of my greatest experiences has been agriculture ambassadors. These students have interests ranging from animal agriculture, agriculture business, to even education and precision technology. Imagine a forest of different backgrounds and interests, all with a common goal. Through, though we may grow in different ways and paths, nevertheless, we flourish together. We are united for our shared interest in making the world a better place through agriculture. Many of these men and women are now my closest friends and help shape a community I've come to love. If roots are the support and leaves the community, then the flower is inspiration. Look around you. You are surrounded by nine different majors, dozens of concentrations, and close to 100 different interests. You can't help but be inspired. You now can turn around and be that inspiration to the communities where you find yourself. Show your passion and don't be afraid to be genuine. Whether you know it or not, or not those around you are watching and learning from you. In your future, this can look like joining trade organizations, bureaus, or committees. You can mentor young folks in industry through opportunities like the Future Farmers of America, after school programs, or industry workshops, where you can be the inspiration for the future of your own industry. In work life, you can lift up your peers, teach skills, and create lasting bonds to improve the life of those around you. You can grow not to be just one flower, but a garden of thousands. The mission of the College of Agriculture is to feed the world, protect the environment, and improve the quality of life across the globe. While it prepares students to achieve these goals, the college does so much more. It supports, builds community, and serves as inspiration. By, wel by welcoming each one of its students into our ag family, an environment is created, an environment of encouragement, enrichment, and excellence, which all follow the original purpose of the university 
and its land-grant mission. As I walked across the stage today, I know that my time here had an extreme impact on me, and I hope that it continues to do so well into my future. I'll miss all of you. Thank you. David, that was amazing. Thank you so much. We appreciate those really inspirational words that you had for your fellow graduates today, so thank you. You know, I'm standing up here in front of you and I've been reflecting on the fact that all of you have a different path and a different future ahead, kind of like what David was just talking about. But whether you stay here in Fort Collins or travel to the far ends of the world, you all have one important thing in common with each other and the more than 200,000 others who have come before you. Starting right now, you are all alumni of Colorado State. So you're going, yeah, please. You join poets and scientists, teachers and engineers, food producers, care providers, entrepreneurs, and a myriad of others who have walked across this stage. With that said, please always remember that no matter where your personal and professional journey takes you, that the College of Agricultural Sciences, your former instructors, and the Alumni Association will be there for you every step of the way. Another round, please. We're closing in. I'm the person who stands between you and walking out of here today. But there's a few last things that we need to get through. And while today is important for these four rows right here, there's another group of people that I wish to acknowledge a bit further today. At this time, I would like to ask all of the family and friends joining us today to stand if you are able. Folks, this group of graduates worked hard to succeed because you showed them what hard work and success look like. They had motivation because you were always there building them up. They took advantage of new and diverse opportunities because you gave them the confidence to do so. And graduates, these wonderful people that are surrounding you right now, they helped you with your homework, they made you food that you liked, or even if they didn't, they at least made you try it, right? <laughs> They hugged you into feeling better. They inspired you in your own career path and passions and really probably helped to make you all better people. These folks that are surrounding you here today are, for lack of a better word, awesome. And so now through your applause and your cheering, I want you to tell them so. You all may be seated, thank you. As we draw to a close, I wanna thank the members of the platform group, staff in the college, our Ag Ambassadors, and all others who helped arrange this commencement. Special thanks to Kenna Bridges and John Solis for providing the sign language interpretation, and the Colorado State University Air Force Pershing Rifles Wing Walker Honor Guard for presenting the color. Also to the CSU Brass Ensemble and Angela Lamar for leading us in singing. Graduates, you've been a part of a really special event today. It's your university graduation and an event that I know you will always remember. We are proud to have played a part in your lives, but we are most excited about what you will do and who you will become in the future. In just a few minutes, you're gonna rise and leave this ballroom as alumni of Colorado State University and the College of Agricultural Sciences. However, before you go, we humbly ask that you take those first steps towards whatever lies ahead and that you reflect on and hold tightly to the principles of community that are at the great core, at the, are at the core of this great university. At this time, I would like to ask everyone to please rise and join Angela Lamar and the CSU Brass Ensemble in singing the Colorado State alma mater. The words are printed on page one of your programs.
Thank you, Ms. Lamar. Please be seated. A couple more ups and downs, I promise. <laughs> Just one. At this time, I ask that the audience please remain seated while the platform group, faculty, and graduates retire from the ballroom. Thank you all for being with us, and in the same manner, and this is where I get to be a little selfish, in the same manner that I have concluded every class that I have taught at this great university, I ask that you all be safe, you take care of each other, and go be Rams. <laughs>